Pull that thing up, brother. We're rolling. Don't be afraid. Get right up on it. I'm Speak not, into the microphone. I'm, I'm never afraid. Young man. You I'm never afraid. It's like you've never operated a mic stand before. I know. Honestly. I don't know how to use this thing. I'm just I'm just getting I'm just getting comfortable. What the hell's going on, Anthony Sweet? How's that? How's Don't, that? Yeah. That's pretty good, huh? Yeah, yeah. You're looking good. <laughs> Gotta kiss it. Dude, so thank you for your participation in the last show. Glad I can only you. tell you, man, it was so cool when I finally got the audio because I was embarrassed of the show first, right? Now which show are you talking about? Your about? performance. Sessions on the River. Oh yeah, yeah. Right, so my my talk show was kind of. I took it down as soon as I listened to it. I'm like, oh, it's horrible. I oh don't know no, why. really? But it's the not. music, when the music came in, when I got the, you know, the raw data type of thing. Yeah, man. Was months later. Huh. And then I put it up on SoundCloud for the podcast. Yeah, I remember that day. And I've got the video too, which I plan to put up on the YouTube channel when we get rolling. But I haven't even seen it yet. It takes so much time to load these shows and index them. And oh, man. Like I put up 60 shows, right? I had to index, like I had to actually go and listen to them, like who was on these shows, right? So yeah. So I could put the description. It's a lot in. of work. But and one at a time. just waiting through iTunes was a whole messy, you know, you know, doing something for the first time is always challenging, right? Sure. Yeah, I'm not. Sure. But do you remember the first one that you did? Yeah. And do you remember it? What was that like? Up too, so I got one of my businesses up too. So we'll see how that goes. But when I got the raw data, um, I, I don't know if you were the first one I played it, but when I hit the second song of yeah. your session, I, I actually was moved to tears. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. It's just so yeah. beautiful. So, you know, I'm, wow. a, yeah. I'm a sucker for a good band and a nice voice and that whatever. Was, uh, and got, that was so the getaway, right? you got both right? of that going on, man. <laughs> it's the getaway, right? Is that the song? I think that's I the think song. I think so, yeah. Yeah. Great yeah. tune, but so, uh, yeah, unexpectedly uh, emotional when I heard it because yeah. it's just really be beautifully crafted. I think Chris did, shout out to Chris Curry too at Sessions on the River. I think Absolutely. he did a great job getting Absolutely. the room right because yeah, we broadcast yeah. for the audience as well as recording it. That's right. It and, felt uh, really some good. Some people are actually using that stuff for promo here and there. G mm -hmm. said he used it for one of his short films when he was oh, in last that's night. that's neat. So thanks uh -huh. for your time. I know you're busy. And, uh, anyway, Life I appreciate is full. your talent. And yeah, man. So we're going to see you a lot this week, and I don't know how I'm going to get to everyone, but I'm going to oh, have to dude. make a list. This is you pretty make cool. a list, you know, but you go to the ones the, that are best for you. Yeah, In the Soil has become the <laughs> new scene fest almost, you know, type of thing, but mm. uh, not that I want to pigeonhole it and describe it like that. It's, mm. it's you know, expression of art, period, mm -hmm, but uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. good to see my son, the Hurricane, on the main oh, stage. Yes, yes. Saturday night. Uh, Saturday night, 9 o'clock, yeah. 9 o'clock. They're the feature band. Fabulous. Rio Statics, where are they slotted? I'm not sure exactly. Oh, but dude, I don't know either. They're great, man. Well, there's a whole lot going on. Well, I know one yeah. of their albums, Inside Out, the Rio Statics. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I can't remember oh, which fabulous. one it was, but they're completely off the wall and one of the best live shows you've seen. Really? Yeah, Real Stags are classic. And they're playing this this, yep. this coming weekend. Yeah, Mel Monaco. Who oh, else? Yeah, like Anthony Bonning's playing at the uh, warehouse. He's doing huh. the Courage for Gord thing. And she's uh, I, I can't even name G's um, playing with Road Oh, Waves. yes. Oh, uh, man. Burger, well, Blake, and Gould. It's going to be are, an amazing uh, weekend. reunited again. So, yeah, I'm looking huh. forward to it. But my back always takes a shit <laughs> when I've been standing on, on <laughs> oh, asphalt buddy. all that time. But. Just bring a cushion with you, and you can just sit on the floor. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's a good idea. So, uh, <laughs> where are you at? I just say thank you for your generosity at, at sessions too. I, you yeah, know, I don't, man. I don't know you all that well. I instantly, uh, sure. Well, your voice drew me right into the tent from down the uh, street. I could, you know, <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, and I don't know how many times I've described this this you know moment of walk peering mm -hmm. through the tent and going, mm -hmm. what is going mm -hmm. on here? <laughs> uh, you got a great stage presence and stuff Thanks. like that. But I, I didn't mm -hmm. realize because, you know, many times when I do live shows on the radio mm -hmm. or we're broadcasting live, I tend to, you know, be more, you know, if I'm doing like an interview style show, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm more in tune with what my next question is going to be or yeah. what the levels are sounding like. I'm, I'm sure. at work and I've yeah, been... Yeah. I accuse myself of not really listening all the time because sometimes huh. you can't have that level of conversation when you're worried about the levels and the commercials and paying the yeah. bills and getting the weather done Lots on time and all this kind of stuff, right? Whew. 
So I didn't realize until after mm -hmm. I had watched our video because it was up on live stream for I think about 30 days it stays up there. So I watched okay. it a few times and I, I was, you know, surprised about how open and vulnerable you were about talking uh, about where you were at in life uh, and kind of what yeah, you had been man. through. And yeah. I kind of, I don't know, you know, I'm sure I didn't appear insensitive, but I didn't really, I wasn't present to it when we had the conversation. Let's just say Fair that. Fair enough. Man. And I was going in and out of, that was a long day. And there was a, yeah. there was a time there around, um, about four or five o'clock where I, f I was feeling faint. Like I, yeah. had to, I called a break and I went into the booth and I was, I felt lightheaded. Yeah. I had to lay down and get my shit. Together. Really? I don't man. know what was going on because okay. I wasn't drinking. Well, no, <laughs> but you were drinking like water though. Uh, but I probably hadn't eaten since breakfast. So I was probably getting run down and yeah. you know, um, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure. Well, it's a long day, man. Yeah. Was there was long. a lot of stress and pressure. Not a lot, but you, you don't know the background stress and pressure anyway. So I didn't really, I wasn't present to your level of vulnerability uh, when we when we spoke about yeah, that. Man. But uh, I guess that's just a testament to where you are in life and what your music's been about uh, and stuff like that. Yeah. So, yeah. Where are you yeah. at right now? Right now? Yeah, I know you've, I know, I know what you're doing, but uh, yeah, I haven't yeah. got the latest update as far as, <laughs> but uh, I know the meditation at your place has been huge and your new career it has, has been, been you but know, right now thing. a lot has, like, I'm, I feel I'm still settling, like, into my work, hmm. you know, and, and, and that's kind of where I've been in my, like, in my mind. You mean work that pays the bills, or yeah, work, work that, that pays puts the bills? Music together, okay. Yeah, yeah. So that's uh, so music's not work. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. Music is not. Wow. It is. It is Music's for, a it's for hell pleasure. of a lot of work, and I don't even know how to play a note. <laughs> well, I can play D, but how can know. you say music's not work, man? Uh, like when I get together with people to play music, I don't feel it's work. Wow. I feel it's just an experience. You know, maybe I should look at it more as work and and really, yeah. and and pay more attention. But it's interesting. I, I just feel I just I listen and and uh, just try and and find the gaps. Hmm. <laughs> you know what Shoot I mean? Shoot the gaps. Yeah, yeah, and do it as gently as and on on key as possible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but playing with these other bands has been really good. You know, playing mm -hmm. with Supernatural Buffalo, like of probably been a, a year now playing with them and and just learning to be vulnerable like in in the music that's been a, a crazy experience and i'm still still learning mm. like just to just to play and not think about how i'm playing or what what people are even thinking of my playing but just play you know and just listen and and like i said like just find the gaps and 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 dance with what's going on you know to mm. the best of my ability and uh and it's it's been trippy it's been a it's been neat yeah so what do you see settling into work so yeah what's that look like uh it's they're they're long days of of driving so i, I right. teach kids how to drive right on our mm -hmm. roads and uh and it's it's it is it's rewarding it is it's cool to see the kids succeed you know what i mean and learn and something new like learn how to drive there's so much going on right there's so much going on and you're able to to bring a calm to this person mm. and and allow them to experience the road uh in a safe environment in a sense like because i'm the one there you know right. what i mean and and that's that's been cool that's been cool i've liked it but my 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 body is tired you oh know? i gotcha yeah yeah um so i'm learning to learning balance learning balance right. uh but that's like it's been ten months now with the, with the company, and it's uh, the time has flown by, man. It's amazing. But on the side, yeah, playing with Sarah Hamilton, you know, that's been really good. Uh, her project is called Clementine, and I've played piano and sang on her material, and uh, her songs are are lovely. Yeah, it's really lovely, and that too has been a great experience. Like just. Uh, learning again, just to to listen and and to support her her vocals, you know, and not stand in the way kind of thing, and just carry her. Mm. So that's been really cool. I've really enjoyed it. the The experience here almost like a spiritual experience, where it's just pure, it's just experience. It's, that's all it is. Just 
in that moment. Yeah. It's neat, man. So that's been, that's that been fun. You use that a lot, and it's actually fitting that, you know, experience. the sweet experience yeah. is your band's <laughs> name. Uh, yeah. Because that's all it is. So it's an experience. where right? else are you teaching and leading? Because teachers and leaders, they teach and lead everywhere. If you're on the road with mm. kids, then you're also doing it other places. I know um, you're doing the med- you're trying to have a quiet space there. But yes, in my house. I find it exhausting to try and meditate, but again, it's, you know, I'm Uh, lazy and I take the easy way out. I don't like discipline myself to keep doing it. But the one morning I got up 6.15 and I'm like, okay, or six o'clock, I'm going to sit here. No, 6.15, maybe I sat down. I think, okay, I'm going to sit here for a half an hour with my eyes closed. Cool. And just be still and just witness my thoughts. Yeah. Nothing more. I wasn't committed to anything other than just watching about what I was thinking about. Yeah. And, and um, I got about 20 minutes in before I opened my eyes to check the time. Yeah, yeah. I thought I would be about 10 minutes in. Right. So I was proud of myself that I yeah, made it absolutely. You know, three quarters of the way and without looking. But then the last 10 minutes took like 10 years to pass. It felt And really I long. must open my eyes a dozen like times. A no struggle. discipline. And just, you know, once I was open, I was one to, I don't know. Yeah. When when is this going to be over? Type of thing. But they're like even in, in so that, frustrating. But but you learn that you know that uh, it is a, it is a struggle sometimes, and that's okay. And it's like G said yesterday. He said that about writing music or poetry mm. or anything creative. Like I'm writing mm-hmm. creatively for business right now, which isn't very creative at all. It's very robotic. But just do it. Do it badly until it gets better. You know. But. Uh, so yeah, what I want, I'm interested in what else you're leading and teaching uh, around your world. Are you teaching music? Yes, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm teaching my mother how to play guitar. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool, man. Is your mother your only student? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, she oh, is. That's interesting. Wow. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's so cool. Like. She, uh, I remember when I was young, she had a guitar in the house and that guitar, man, I picked up that guitar in probably grade nine or 10. And, uh, and now, now I'm the one helping her out and she loves the guitar, man. It's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. And she, she like pray, like practices all the time. It's, it's awesome. And she loves it. It's such a, huh. it's cool to see, man. But no, I've had students in the past teaching and, uh, and no, right now, right now, I'm not, I'm not teaching uh, any music, not right now. How about new music? You got anything new breaking? Because that's the old. Uh, I have a I couple songs. I accused you doing new stuff the other day, and you're like, no, that's all our stuff. Yeah, <laughs> nothing new there, dumbass. No, but, yeah, no, no, no. The music it comes when it should, you know. Okay. And I need to like sometimes I can. I can force stuff, and I, I've, I've been doing a lot of doodling lately, uh, just kind of messing with with uh, melodies and rhythms and things, and and nothing's coming, and and just being okay Perfect. with that. Cool, you know, being okay with that. I've written a few tunes for. Uh, I'm a part of a like a spiritual community here in town called Quest, and uh, I've written some music for for the the group of people that get together. And so we've sung the songs together, which has been really cool. Wow. And uh, so I, some of the songs I've been writing lately are, are a little bit more quiet, meditative songs. I could sing some for you. I could yeah, sing yeah, one yeah. for you if I, if if you want. Yeah. yeah but uh, that's that's what I've been doing, and it. You know what? It feels good. The balance feels good. You know, it will it will come back when it should. I'm not worried about that. Yeah. Good yeah, you. yeah. No, no, no. It's all it's all good. In time, in time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. You want to strike something up now? I could. Yeah. All right. Gladly. Oh, thanks, man. Oh, a little more water. For sure. Nice guitar. That's how I've had a few of my friends actually say that. So like it sounds here. great. Yeah. Got my 75 bucks worth. So it was. That's what it cost you. 
I think so, yeah. It's amazing. Got that one downtown at the King of Trade, I'm pretty sure. Let's go. Let's get a couple duos in the place. King of Trade. I think so, yeah. Is that the one there on, on Queen Street? Yeah, I think it's right Is it on St. Paul? Oh man, do what you gotta do. Um, yeah, just give me a sound check. I have to dial it back drastically. And I feel your lips upon my head. Yeah, yeah man. It'll be soft. Now, do you have a song? Do you want to do one for Facebook Live at the same time? Uh, I don't know, man. Okay. I, I think Facebook right now. You let me know if you Yeah. Know. Okay, so yeah, we're good to go. Hit her. Cool, man. Anthony Sweet. Yes, this is me. This is me in form of song. Tune is inspired by Hafiz, the poetry of Hafiz. It's lovely. Do you mind if I take the video on it? No, go ahead. Just for the broadcast.
It's a bit of a rush. What's that one called? I don't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I don't even remember. And I feel your kiss upon my head and the fire flickering inside my body. It's from Hafiz. It just, I was just like, wow. Oh, I like it. That's a good job. Lovely. Oh, yeah, sorry. I backed away from the mic. <laughs> I forgot about you, Mike. Sorry, man. Okay, that's what we want to do. Once we get there, there. Well, let's see, I have them on a Is it? better swing, you know, the arm. Absolutely, man. Yeah, they Make built sure some it's comfy. nice ones. It's right there. So it's what perfect. a so spooky, emotional feel. Every yeah. one of your songs is so heartfelt and huh. You know, I don't always grasp the lyrics right off the first, yeah, even yeah. 10 times. Sometimes it takes 15 times. Yeah. So if yeah. the music's not there for for me, then I don't get to the lyrics. But, mm -hmm. you know, for anything that sticks in my deck, and pretty much, you know, everyone that mm -hmm. has been hitting it for local bands that I've been listening to, the, mm -hmm. the production quality's amazing, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the writing mm -hmm. is well done and it's well composed and well performed mm. and mm -hmm. well recorded and well mastered mm -hmm. you know it's not like the old days when you said oh here's a Niagara band and it, it was garbage you know mm -hmm. like it sounded like a garage band not that that's a bad thing but <laughs> Fair enough. Um, yeah so we got so much local talent but and I just find myself like drifting with wow there's so much mm -hmm. seemed like meaning behind well I guess there is behind every song but yeah. you seem so deep and emotional uh, and resound so I just wonder I don't know what to sing about you know what I mean and, what do you find they're mostly about then is it the same old no, you know like love lost one, love gained uh, you know yeah love uh, I think just open to the possibility you know that something's there uh, you know and uh, and that's a, like that a song like that would would direct my attention then like when I sing it it's like I'm singing to something mm. do you know what I mean like I'm, I'm singing to I guess my belief you know in 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 the in connection I guess you know? yeah and so when I when I sing that it's just I, I guess yeah it's the desire to be connected you know so that that desire comes out in my mm. voice perhaps you know and so it's almost like a hey you know I'm here kind of Rescue me, I guess. I don't know. Mm. Interesting, weird. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But that uh that's where I've found myself lately. A lot in spaces like that and, and uh just like you said, back to the meditation, just taking time to pause, you know, and and just uh be where I'm at. You know, and, and be content where I'm at. Well, there's so much wisdom yeah. in that too. It's the other day I caught myself kinda running running around. Yeah. And not that I was all that busy, probably, but I just found myself, and I was changing quickly. And I sat on the end of my bed, and I went, wait a second. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's take a second here, and I can tell you, I never do that during the day. Mm -hmm. Let's just take 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. Close my eyes, take a deep breath, and sit here, and just exhale, and just calm the fuck down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just take a chill. Right Even here. And I was so time. proud of myself that mm -hmm. I took the time and went, hey, wait, mm -hmm. because I'm high energy mm -hmm. guy, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and. Um, yeah. And to pause like that. Yeah. Yeah. And it helped yeah. immediately. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> uh -huh. And so mm -hmm. it's almost like, well, that worked. Let's never do it again. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> I know, man. Yeah. But. But I, I too, I too run from from stillness, man. I do, yeah. you know, and and yet it, it's the I best so thing for me. I so want to try the uh, tank. I want to float. Oh, dude, yeah. Have you done that? Uh, I've got no, one of the falls. I haven't, I haven't. No, I can't remember how much it is. It's not. It's not outrageous, but it's an hour. An hour, yeah. Of nothing. Yeah, right. A Darkness, sense, sense deprivation. Tank, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I wonder if that could kick kickstart my. My meditation. It could because it could. I'm I, I don't so know. damn busy, and if I was paying a hundred bucks to lay in a tank for sixty minutes, <laughs> and I was forced to have nothing, yes, 
Like but you only the, have your same thoughts time, in there. It might be really good for you, and then when you when you come away from it, like it would be tricky then to come back to like you having to sit. Mm. You know? Do you know what I mean? I desperately I, think I need like, to just make the commitment because I'm so well. I'm lazy by nature. I think. All I and know so is just, that that's it's, hard work. That's concentration. It is oh, hard that's work. exhausting. That's yeah. holy cow. You know, it's, I mean? it's so strange how sitting can be hard. <sighs> you know, hard to just sit and be still. But, but I've found, man, I've found that when you do it, and and if you practice that, like, it was changing the way I saw my world and like the way I I, I was I felt in it. Like I felt, I felt complete. Yeah. I don't know, like, yeah, I don't know. It helped. It, it calmed. I don't, it it changed, man. It changed me. It was powerful. It was powerful, like, silence is amazing. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. Man. When when the mind is no longer, you know, when when the mind is no longer running like mad. Yeah. Those little pauses. That's cool, man. You just have to force the discipline, I suppose, you know? And, uh... <sighs> Yeah, stay with it. Until, yeah. Like G said, yeah. do it badly you until, it. You, uh, yeah. until you get yeah, better yeah. at it. Yeah, So, Absolute. Start with small, you know, 10 seconds like you did. Yeah. You know, and, and just seeing even those 10 seconds, wow, what, what that does. You know, so I, I want to do it again. And, and holding that thought, you know, wow, you know, I, I want to do it again. And, and every time I think of, oh, I should take a pause, every time that comes to my mind, I follow it. You know, I try to follow it and actually sit down and just be quiet. You know, whenever, you know, oh, just be, even if it's if if it's in a, a like waiting in a shopping shopping line. You know what I mean? Just being, just breathing out and realizing yeah. I'm there and that it's okay. I don't need to rush. I don't yeah. need to rush. My saying used to be, "Time is money." Yeah. Sign here. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. And how rude is that for your clients that you're sitting with to actually have that as a concept, right? Uh -huh. So I shifted from that, and it's worked wonders for me from the standpoint that I'm the guy that lets you in line uh -huh. in traffic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, the yeah. guy that doesn't. Oh, don't you hate when people plug up at the corner when there's a mall on the corner mm -hmm. and they park in front of the driveway so nobody can make the left turn? Oh, in there? yeah, man. I like know. idiots, right? <laughs> <laughs> and when those see people drive down the, the fast lane oblivious I know. at 120 beside a car forever, like get, yeah, like they don't get it. Pull past. <laughs> Where was I going with that? Oh, man, I don't know. I Drivers, man. Uh, you know, uh, you're talking about the, the meditative state, too. Yes. And uh, I was fascinated um, listening to these guys that are working on uh, the flow project we talk about floating mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know they call it the zone hmm. when you can't stop writing hmm. when you're sinking every ball at billiards yeah. when you're nailing you know triple wow. 20 triple 20 triple 20 and you can't you just are on fire that's yeah. what you know it's like wow. being in the zone we've all we've all yeah, experienced we've it, right zone. Sure. and I'm how you can artificially that. create the zone for yourself mm-hmm and, and it makes sense from the standpoint that when you're in the zone, there is a chemical. Um, your body's going through a certain chemical experience, hmm. you know, with Wild. endorphins and yeah. adrenaline and just the right mix of everything. Yeah. yeah. And, I, of course, I'm always the, like the easy way out guy type. I want the, I want the quick, I want the okay. quick, quick and access to the zone. Yeah, yeah. So what they suggested is to go for a light run. Okay. For 25 minutes, 20, okay. 25 minutes to get the heart rate up, the yep. blood rate up. Followed by a quick, large coffee. <laughs> followed by a joint. Wow. And so if you had writer's block before you went for the run, mm -hmm. and or if you were in the zone and then you fell out of the zone, mm -hmm. this is can this is pretty this much the way you in. get back into the zone. <laughs> Whether it's a this? meditative, no, I have not. Um, <laughs> but that was the quick, like theoretically, the same component should be existing in your system at that point, right? Wow. Because of the run, because of the coffee, because yeah. of the CBDs specifically, not the yeah. THC, yeah. but the CBDs apparently. Okay, okay. 
um, they call it the f- uh, wow. Stephen Kotler. That's it. What's, uh, and his what partner, he's uh, the the flow the f- flow genome project. Okay. That's it. Crazy, man. And I thought it was so fascinating just to think, like, yeah, I've been in a, fl- I've been in the zone. I know yeah, what it's yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah. kind of yeah. like a reset yeah. for the creative process or what have you. Huh. So maybe I should try that. You're saying? <laughs> no, I just found it interesting <laughs> because you're talking about like two different aspects of consciousness, almost. Mm. You know what I mean? And there's very specific both of them right mm-hmm. meditating quieting the mind mm-hmm. and then the mind really functioning at its highest capacity and its most efficient apparently mm-hmm. like you 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 you're dead shot mm-hmm. for whatever you're mm-hmm. doing right mm-hmm. and we've all been there mm-hmm. we all remember a point in our lives when we went and if you could recreate that mm-hmm. somehow mm-hmm. and the, the other interesting thought i or the point that they made is i think i remember them saying is as soon as you're conscious of being in the zone, you're out of the zone. Yeah. <laughs> uh, tricky, huh? You know, but either way, but, uh, yeah, I find it uh, fascinating and something that is speaking to me on a more regular basis, like, come here. Uh-huh. Come here, learn how to quiet your mind. You need this. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. The benefits yeah. are pretty obvious. Yeah, yeah. But. I think it overflows into everything we do, then. Right. And just that calm. Yoga. Oh, yeah. You yeah. get in the studio. Yeah, man. Yoga in the studio. Winter kicks the shit out of me, man. Oh, There's man, no I'm sunlight. glad it's spring, man. It's so nice to see the buds on the trees. Yeah, it will be nice to drop those 20 pounds I usually oh, lose. Let's keep on running the 20 uh, plates that you're doing <laughs> with your coffee. You know. <laughs> back no, up. you will, man. You will. Just get oh. back out there. Mm. Oh, yeah. But it's... We've had a lot of rain. Mm. Crazy amounts of rain. Kind of no sun for too long. Is that how is that how it's been? Well, yesterday was really sunny. Oh no, I've been getting some sun lately. I just mean like the the winter months, winter. right? Yeah. What do you think of Very that nasty. little snow that we had? The last one where it dumped on us. Yeah, it was I, I amazing. Love it dumps on us. Oh, it was just two days, Tuesday and Wednesday. I like how they always get it wrong. <laughs> but the the last um, <laughs> I went out to the lake and it was really blowing and coming in hard. And I went out to the lake hmm. and took video of it. Yeah. And uh, where'd you go? Where'd you go down to? Just right over here. Right over here. The south. Oh the man. South shore of pristine Great Lake Ontario. Yeah. Yeah. And it was coming in filthy, and I got some good video of it. And I, I don't know. I was watching the Weather Channel all day, and pe- mm-hmm. I guess, you know, if something, I got the. They're asking people to send in videos or something mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I sent one off, and um, like I've been really going to school on social media lately for a couple of my businesses. And my yeah. my private account, my at Jim Fannin, doesn't really do all that much. Yeah. You know, I tweet silly things and political things, and yeah. you know, things that are really unique to Niagara. Yeah. You, you know, political. Um, they don't get much reach or anything like that. Like you can actually yeah. track the track the the I think what they call interactions or something like that okay Okay. which is way more than I don't even interactions maybe that's just somebody cruises over top of it and it counts as a view or something like that not interactions what's reach or I can't remember the top one whatever the top one is I get 100 200 300 sometimes I get you know if somebody retweets it or something like that I get more but my reach isn't all that my private my well this private business that I'm working on It's not related to anything, and they're not linked. Nobody okay. knows it's me. It's very anonymous type yeah. of thing. I got yeah. 500 followers. My reach is like 5,000 on almost every tweet. Whoa. I don't even know why. Wow. But this one video I took of the, of the snowstorm, huh. and I tweeted to the Weather Network. They retweeted it, and I, I set a record like for impressions, 20,000. What? It went to 10,000 like this. Why? Because they got 1.2 million followers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Just get somebody that's popular to retweet right, your right, ass, right, and you'll right. set a record like you never before. Yeah, like, I try right. to pick my spots. I find it fascinating, right? Like, um, uh, what's his name? Sequin. Um, can't, he's an NHL player. I can't remember who he plays for. Okay. Um, 
they had him mic'd up, I think, for an all-star game or something like that. And he swore a couple times. Oh, shit. And, yeah, oh, shit. And that's what he says. Oh, sorry, can Sorry for swearing, Canada. Like, he's skating around, right? And he's going, oh, fuck, shit. Oh, oh sorry. Sorry for swearing, Canada. Like, he's that so polite to say <laughs> sorry for funny, swearing. Man. Well, I clipped it, and I tweeted it right away. And boom, I got, like, yeah. I think in the next two hours, I got 100 tweets and 100 likes. Well, that's, like, for me. Yeah. That's, like records that's yeah, like yeah. breaking twitter for me uh-huh. oh yeah i know it's nothing really but well, whatever man uh, for me yeah it exploded yeah. but it, that still that was only its reach was half of what my stupid um uh-huh. blizzard oh yeah my yeah. blizzard one was i went to 20 grand yeah but i don't know about my anon account why it's yeah it got you got you know it was like a hundred or two hundred and then five hundred and then a thousand and two thousand and four thousand and five thousand it stopped there were around five, six thousand most of the tweets, but I did nice little memes and stuff like that. <laughs> I don't do those on my account most usually. Why do you have them separated? I don't know. Great yeah. question. Um, yeah, yeah. Like to, to yeah say, this well, is who I am. yeah, I don't know yeah. because, well, one, my stories are. I got lots of stories. Uh, <laughs> one, I, I think I carry, I carry a little political baggage. I think people look at me and like I was telling you before. I think they kind of go, oh, the Green Party guy, the funny guy, the guy that's yeah. hilarious up there, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. the guy that also knew his shit better than anybody up there. But, oh, no, he was hilarious. Um, that's what they and then said. You don't, that's what they said. Yeah, and you don't – and you don't – also, and again, it's a story. Um, the idea that you don't sell in your own backyard. Like, I'm just starting out. I'm not going to try and sell it to these guys around here. They're going to look at me and go, what, mm-hmm. are you kidding me? Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm going to buy enough from you. But then you go outside your – you know – where you do business normally yeah, okay. and nobody knows you, whatever, yeah. if you're selling a good product and yeah, you know, so you don't have that baggage. So that was part of it. Okay. And originally, you know, inside the framework of what I'm doing, I wanted to be, oh, well, one, there's a, I don't know how to say this without blowing it wide open. I'm going to have to come up with it sooner or later, I guess, because I'm starting to do, starting to get on the road. If you want to break but, it up now, you can. Yeah, but yeah. Don't, rush, don't, rush, don't. <laughs> don't feel rushed, huh? A uh, certain amount of it was a little bit of insulation from the authorities because the authorities have looked into this business, you know, a couple of times. And I don't want to I don't want to be on the hook for it. Yep. Right. So that okay. was a little bit of it. And then the other thing is, you know, I think, you know, now I'm starting to like I booked my first job. I'm, you know, mm-hmm. I've got a, the websites up and the social media is coming together and stuff like that. So. It'd be nice to get a couple clients under my belt and testimonials before I start tooting my horn too much. So it's a it's a humble beginning, and I'm really learning about building something from scratch. Good for you. Outside of it's not completely outside of the realm of what I'm used to because yeah. you know I'm pretty well trained to speak and stuff like yeah. that. But yeah. Uh, yeah. so I I find the social media fascinating, and that's why I try and post from my uh, my page as much as I can. But I don't I, I'm not good with it because I what always do you find fascinating about it. Like what makes it take off, um, how you can use it for marketing and exposure, um, that a, a click and a like and a share is actually worth money. Wow. And not that money has any intrinsic value, but, I mean, that is what we need to pay the bills with. And mm-hmm. although it might not be physical money, it it sometimes leads to, like, I'm, an, I'm a salesman. Mm-hmm. You know, I sell real estate, I sell hemp, I sell, you know, mm-hmm. I don't know, my services. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. uh, and we're constantly, I mean, it's the oldest profession in the world. I think that's what we're always doing is selling ourselves in some capacity. So I see social media as mm-hmm. just a platform for to advertise it, right? And I know everyone's got that. Yeah. You know, being in real estate, you know, I've had my name in the paper all the time. And everybody thought that, you know, it's kind of like a sexy business or something because your picture's everywhere right mm-hmm, mm-hmm. well real estate agents always had their picture on the paper mm-hmm. beside the house right yeah. the yeah, open yeah, house yeah. and it's got your picture yeah it's just the it's just the way the industry is kind of modeled after right yeah but now everyone's got that platform and that's why i really resisted the podcast too because everyone's doing a freaking podcast but you know what i'm fascinated by them and i listen to them all the time <laughs> you know and i learned so much from listening to them yeah. too yeah. and who knows? 
you know? Like, mm-hmm. if somebody can be touched by what we talk mm-hmm. about today, or somebody mm-hmm. goes, oh, Even one yeah, person. fuck, That's I'm going to cool, try man. the float tank. Are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah, 100 yeah. bucks for 60 minutes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn straight, I want to go in the sen- sensory depth tank. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, you um, know so right? you never know. And that's no. right. And I'm fascinated by that, too. It's because, you know, I've run so many campaigns and done so many events and so many times people will come up to you and go, hey, well done. Way yeah. to go. And that's yeah. that's important. And it gets you through. Yeah, uh, but there's always the crash after that, it seems like, because, the, you know, the music stops. Yeah. Sure. There's, there's always home. somebody left with the chairs, mm-hmm, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, <laughs> so I resisted the podcast from for a long time because everyone's got one you know what i mean okay, and right. i'm not gonna be that guy so but whatever that, but yeah, you know sometimes time. you get that acknowledgement like hey good job yeah so, and most importantly for me the acknowledgement of hey you made a difference for me or yeah, even man. better best thing hey you changed my life yeah like wow yeah. what's yeah. more gratifying for that because i think you know in this day and age i think we are really good at forgetting why we're here and that's just to love each other i think oh, i know that's such a hippie thing to say no, but, but you I lose you. track of we're just here to take care of each other and yeah. love your enemy yeah like not just love your brother of right. course you love your brother but yeah, love your man. enemy man just love on anyone everyone and i this is trump thing has been a real exercise for me in that hmm. and i'm fortunate from the standpoint that i'm addicted to local politics right now and the corruption that we have in our own backyard so i can't even look that far south of the border to right. care right. right you can't get away from it but i can't bring myself to be emotional about it well right. yeah he carpet bombed the other day i think i tweeted that was the first thing i ever tweeted about trump mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and i was fascinated you know to you know watch what he was tweeting for a little while there mm-hmm. and i just got to be too narcissistic personality yeah. to yeah. deal with like yeah. i mean I, but i'm interested but I never had that even even that level of interest. Huh. So I think it's fascinating to to see narcissism on display for all to see. And I think a lot of people have gotten an education in what narcissism is now. Like mm-hmm. a, actually narcissistic personality disorder is mm-hmm. so prevalent. And I don't know, we're all on the spectrum. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, but for me, trying to love on a guy like that instead of hate like harper was an easy guy for me to hate the canadian prime minister you know what i mean because he was really in my backyard and he was fucking things up yeah this guy south of border i guess i feel a little little bit more uh insulated from Mm -hmm. it fair enough but he is going rampant man he's turning he's turning them into a a military machine canceling all the budgets of all the environmental protections and and moving it towards building a war machine yeah yeah and you know, you can't not pay attention, but I, it's a challenge for me to look at that guy and go, hey, he's just one of us, wow, you know? And, and I find it interesting. I think G and I talked about this the other night. Like, he is just such a project for us because he's up there preaching his intolerance, bigotry, chauvinism. I, I don't, mm-hmm, I mean, mm-hmm, we've mm-hmm. all said stupid things negativity, like, oh, grab him by the negativity. pussy, whatever. Like, come on, men yeah. do stupid. They talk shit all the time, mm-hmm. man. Like, mm-hmm. and I'm not so, but his other, you know, the other things, like, it's just moral compass and, and mm-hmm. I just, he's up there spewing it all out mm-hmm. and then he's getting the reflection of what he puts out there back from people that don't even realize they're reflecting his hate and his mm-hmm. intolerance in themselves. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What mm-hmm. they hate in him, they actually are displaying that they possess as well. Mm-hmm. So they're hating back on him yep. so and being you, intolerant of his intolerance. It? And I know it's, it's you know, it sounds like I'm talking in circles, but you know, the women, God bless them, march on Washington, mm-hmm. and Madonna's like preaching what. She thinks of bombing the White House? Like, well, you're just doing the same thing he's doing. Yeah. How does that make, like, I don't know. I don't, it's interesting times, man. But, uh, yeah, I uh, think we're really think learning, learning right now. Like right what now. you're saying just about loving. You know, sometimes it can seem so, like, I don't know, overwhelming, all the stuff that's going on. And yet I find it comes back to, for me, it comes back to what what is happening in my circles. Like, how am I interacting with the people that come into my day? You know, and how, like, so I try and bring it back to, like, 
what, wh- where am I and, and how am I dealing with the people around me? Mm. And I don't always deal well with the people around me. You know what I mean? And, and I've, I've done things in the past too that have really hurt people. Um, but trying to, trying to bring it back to like, what am I, what am I doing now? Like what's, how am I, how am I interacting with the people that come into my life? Like how am I interacting with my students and, and learning, you know, learning to be patient and learning to be kind, right? And, <clears throat> and yet at the same time firm and, but you know, co- like how do you, how do, I, like how do I send out love, you know, or try to in my day, mm. right? And I think that looks different for everybody, you know? Yeah, and then there's the unacknowledged impact <coughs> too, right? The ones you never find out about mm-hmm. that you don't ever that's okay. come into present. Yeah, that's almost yeah. a gift in itself, right? Yeah, yeah, not knowing. But the ego's not fed by it. Oh, but man, the then ego's sometimes there. It's they crazy, come back, man. you know, like many decades later. Huh. You know? And it's easy to get something so wrong. I remember one time I, uh, a friend of mine, um, you know, we had a major thing happen and. Mm-hmm. You know, 20 years later, I came, you know, mm-hmm. back saying, you know, hey, I was a dick. Wow. I'm sorry about that. Wow, good for you. How, and, how was that? Well, I I felt like I had been carrying this burden around with me. Yeah. And uh, she says, um, yeah, I'm sorry, but that's not how that went down. You really didn't have anything to do with that. <laughs> So for the whole time, you're so I made it weight. all up. Yeah, yeah I yeah, told myself exactly. I was. It was me. It was I was my a fault. bad guy. I did yeah. something and blah blah blah. And as it turned out, she set me straight and went, "No, like you had nothing to do with that. Like, sorry, you felt like that all this time, but wow. basically, if you could talk in my language, you would say to me, you made that shit up.' <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers, man. <laughs> you made up that lie, but you still, and then you, you went and found evidence years. for it everywhere and convinced yourself it was true. And you know what? You're dead wrong. And I'm like. I'll never man. forget that conversation. No, I bet not. The mind is a filthy wasteland sometimes, oh. eh? And oh, it's yeah. like, yeah, I find myself having a conversation with myself and going, did you just think that? Uh. <laughs> and being like feeling naked and embarrassed. Uh-huh, you know? <laughs> uh-huh, I know. <laughs> like, God, is it's my like, mind really on. capable of such thoughts? <sighs> Like, honestly, and I don't think I'm any any different than anyone else. No, because crazy thoughts do come, like, I think uh, allowing ourselves, right? Allowing ourselves sometimes are, like, I don't know, not not to judge ourselves too harshly, right? Mm, I think we're good. I am certainly um, good at that. Me too, man. Me too. I do a lot. Maybe we all are. Maybe it's the human condition and, you know... Uh, certain themes keep coming up in my conversations, it seems like, and, and you know, going back to the Trump thing. Um, oh, <laughs> brain fart. <laughs> Just look at, you know, how could, it, I think I forced myself to do it. What's that? I don't know. That was Just a pause, too, man. That was yeah, a pause. Yeah, I just like. <laughs> <laughs> Thought maybe you're looking at the quilt behind me. The nice, the nice blue quilt. Oh yeah, it makes yeah. for a great backdrop. <laughs> it's first class studio. It's cozy in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a groovy space. Oh, time to say good night when the brain farts like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, then. so back to the Trump thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was the sentence. Yeah. <sighs> That always comes oh, right. It just takes a couple minutes. No worries. <laughs> Maybe it is time to to go to bed. Yeah. I I work. You know, you work tomorrow again. I work tomorrow again. Yeah. And I meet with Sarah. I'm meeting with Sarah Hamilton tomorrow morning. Nice. Well yeah, done, man. We're gonna go and do some practicing in my pad. And, and uh, but if people are interested in meditation, like I would still Sunday mornings at ten have been a meditation time for me where people are invited. Oh really? Yeah. You're downtown, right? Uh. Russell, 17 Russell. Yeah, yeah. that's downtown. Kind of, yeah. About 10 minute, 15 minutes. Well, I'm walk. not worried about you putting your address out online. Nobody's uh, really. Oh, yeah, <laughs> you know, whatever, man. <laughs> we'll have at least, you know, 10 plays in the next two days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm punchy. Oh, man. That's Say so goodnight, right. Anthony Sweet. Good night.
Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Oh. That's awesome, man. Thank you, my brother. Gladly, bud.